everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. First of all, thank you to everybody who watched and responded to last week's video, 10 types of recorder players. It's always a bit more scary to put out that kind of video rather than a tutorial, but I really enjoyed making it and I'm just super happy that you enjoyed watching it as well, so thank you. And your comments made me really laugh with all of your suggestions. This week we're gonna be talking about something completely different, namely, recorder CDs! So I write for the Dutch Recorder magazine and for the past few years I have been one of their CD reviewers which is a brilliant job because I basically get to listen to recorder music all day and get a load of CDs sent to me. There are so many different albums out there it can be really hard to know what to go for if you think I want to listen to something but I don't know what. For today I have made a selection of my favourite recorder CDs that I love to listen to and I'm going to share those with you. Today I've chosen to go for more modern music. At the magazine there is one reviewer for Baroque music and I kind of basically do all of the rest of the stuff, which I love. Um, I hear from a lot of people saying that they're not really sure how to get into contemporary music and knowing what to listen to can be a good first step. Oh yeah, well, because of copyright law, I can't actually play you this music because I don't want to get in trouble. So I have decided to act it out instead. And as always, from the hundreds of CDs that exist, I've just selected my personal favourites. If there is something that you're like, why did she not mention this? then just tell everyone about it in the comments below. I would really like to hear about it too. Let's go! Not I. What am I doing? I would go so far as to say that this next CD is the best contemporary recorder CD in the world. Yeah. Spray by Prime Recorder Ensemble led by Antonio Politano. This is contemporary music for a large recorder ensemble from the Sopranino to the biggest, biggest pet sword and electronics. And this is amazing. I was lucky enough to be able to watch some of the recording process of this. And I can tell you, Antonio is meticulous about every single little sound that makes it on here. It sounds like exploding planets and universes colliding in these giant weird slow worms that come out of the ground and crawl over one another. <laughs> this music is just full of colours and textures and it's really beautiful once you kind of dig into its sound world. Next is Tangled Pipes by the British recorder quintet Consortium 5. What I love about this CD is that they have a kind of A side with contemporary pieces and then on the B side they got all of those pieces remixed by different DJs. And actually it sounds really, really great. And even the contemporary music on their CD has a lot of pop influences like it's quite melodic and tonal and just very beautiful to listen to. I know that they have also released CDs with Renaissance music, which I actually have, but I left it in England so I haven't listened to it yet. Eh. Next up, we have Michaela Petrie, one of the most famous recorder players ever. And here she is playing a recorder concerto by the Danish composer Palle Mikkelborg. It's called Going to Pieces Without Falling Apart. This is big and expansive, kind of film music-like, this big lush orchestra, and then Michaela Petri over the top like, Ta She's like a bird flying over the orchestra. The composer is also a trumpet player and there are, you can hear a lot of influences from jazz, film music, it's very much like, bah. So if you're interested in recorder concertos, this could be really nice. Next up, we have some English folk music from Dapper's Delight. This is uh, the German recorder player Susanna Bosch and her husband Adrian Brown, who is also one of the best recorder makers on the planet. Here he's singing and playing all kinds of concertinas. And Dapper's Delight, they just make my soul smile. Uh, they have the most 
brilliant and lovely and fun arrangements I hear of uh, all kinds of English Renaissance medieval and folk music <laughs> If you're interested in the intersection between folk and early music, Dapper's Delight. Next up we have the CD Crepusculo by Anna Petrini. This is an album of the contemporary electronic pet sold big square bass recorder and wow. <laughs> The recorder is a bass instrument. This is really hardcore contemporary, but if you put those headphones on and really kind of sink into it, it's amazing. And Anna just plays so good. It's like... If you want to hear what it's like to really explore the outer limits of what the recorder can sound like, this CD is for you. The recorder and saxophone playing Bach. Actually, it sounds really great. This is a new CD by the Dutch recorder player Ronald Mulker and saxophone player Niels Bell. And they, wow. To be honest, I received this CD to review and I was quite skeptical, like, <laughs> that was me being skeptical. But actually, it's really beautiful. The saxophone player Niels Bell manages to make his sax sound like a viola de gamba and like a baroque trumpet, like he can transform it and they just have really beautiful interpretations of Bach but also Telemann and medieval dancers and a couple of contemporary pieces. So this CD has a bit of everything and wow, can the recorder play techno music? What do you think I'm going to say? Like. No, next. Uh, yes, yes it can. This is the album Protocols by Von Norfeld. Von Norfeld is a techno ensemble, a techno group. Electronics, recorder and cello with Josephine Bode on recorder and wow, it's wow. I think they describe themselves as ambient techno, so it's lots of like <laughs> when I reviewed the CD, this isn't like the recorder playing techno, we're gonna come in and play on a pop song, but it's actually a group of musicians in their field making amazing music and it just happens to be the recorder. Hey! I feel and I hope that we're way past the recorder being a novelty item in any of these genres. We're here and we're here to stay. Next up is Dialogues from Eric Boschraff. My Second favourite thing about this CD is the fact that I once managed to face swap with it and it was hilarious. The first favourite thing is that it's actually really, really great. <laughs> Eric got official permission from Pierre Boulez, one of the greatest contemporary composers, to arrange his piece Dialogues for the recorder and oh my god. I don't think I've ever heard such kind of flawless playing as this. In terms of the, what the recorder is technically capable of, this just... Ah, wow! How can I act this out? <laughs> that very moment my camera cut out, I think it was like, what are you doing? So Eric, big respect for this CD. Next up, Tarasea by Seldom Seen. This was the debut CD of the recorder quintet Seldom Seen. Since then they've brought some more out, but this remains my favourite. It's just incredible. So we have a lot of Renaissance music, some Handel and Bach, and some uh, contemporary pieces. It is just sheer beauty. Um, I don't think you're gonna hear a better CD than this. In the world! I actually know all of them and it's a bit weird like fangirling over people that you really know but I don't know, I, I love looking around my colleagues and friends and being like, you're so amazing! My favourites are some German hymns arranged for the very low instruments and they will just break your heart. Next up is Tal Itali by the Israeli recorder player Tali Rubenstein. 
I've talked about this one before, but I wanted to mention it again because I really love it. Tally is um, a jazz recorder player living in New York, fully immersed in the jazz scene. This CD is really kind of lush, melodic jazz. It makes me think of Abby Sher Cohen, the bass player. Oh yeah, and she also sings really beautifully on the CD. Um, so if you're interested in how the recorder sounds in jazz music, uh, that is a really, really good place to start. Next up, the album Buffoni by Black Pencil. Black Pencil is an ensemble with recorder, pan flute, accordion, viola and percussion. This CD is also a mix of early music, obviously arranged for the ensemble, and contemporary music. It feels like you're speeding in a car on the edge of a cliff and you're always in danger of going blah, but you always just say on. It's that exciting. And there's a lot of humour in it, a lot of fun. I love this approach to music, just taking it and going <laughs> This is a really interesting CD that I was sent for review. It's not actually the recorder, it's the chacan, but that was uh, an instrument very closely related to the recorder in the 19th century. And recorder player Nick Tarasov has actually done a lot of research into this. And it's so strange, when you hear it, you're like, that's a recorder but not. It's really like, ooh. For my taste, it's extremely sweet, romantic, late classical music. So for me, it feels like eating 10 bags of sugar, but that's probably just because I'm like this hardened contemporary music walnut. For example, a piece for two check hands and a flute d'amour by FX Mozart. Gwah! And I was doubting about plugging my own music, but then I was like, hang on, this is my own YouTube channel. I can do what I want. I play in a band called Jabawa. We make, I guess, rock music, pop music. Recently, we brought out our first single and that's on iTunes and Spotify and it's called Guest House. And this year, we're actually going to release nine more singles. So we are a band with guitar and drums and a lead singer and iwi bass and two recorders. Apparently we're very weird, but I think it's really cool. So maybe you'll think it's really cool as well. Link down below. So those were the CDs that I wanted to talk about today. Obviously there are so many more that I haven't had time to mention. Not for any particular reason, these ones I spoke about are just my personal favourites. I did notice when I was going through my CDs, a lot of them are from artists in the Netherlands. In a video mainly about contemporary recorder music, I will be talking about the Netherlands a lot because it has a big contemporary recorder scene. That is the entire reason that I moved here after all. And I think I get a lot of CDs from Dutch artists because they're sending it through the Dutch recorder magazine. but. Nevertheless, I would like my CD collection to become more diverse. So I would like to ask for your help. If you are a professional recorder player from elsewhere in the world and you have a CD or a release coming out, please let us know about it. Put it in the comments. Or even if you're not recording anything, but please just let me know that you exist. And I also don't know about everything and I do want to expand what I know. <laughs> Well, as always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here. And don't forget to click the bell icon because then you actually get a notification every time I make a video or put up a live stream. And up here is my last favourites video, Winter Favourites, if you like me talking about this kind of thing. Have a great day. Bye!